October. Good goth. Welcome to the October Fat Fiber Sampler Box preview video. This month, our theme is Good Goth. Oh, Rocky! And you will love the beautiful dark colors that people have sent in. We have dark reds and purples and all these beautiful colors. We there are so many fun things that people have sent in for this box and I can't wait to share it with you. We're going to give away two $50 gift certificates this month to our customers. One will be on the Buy Fat Incentive Thread on Ravelry. So that thread is designed for anybody who makes a full-size purchase from a contributor that's in this box can post their purchase on that thread and have a chance to win the super box. The super box is everything that we're going to show you in this video. For the second $50 gift certificate, we will have a separate thread for you to post your favorite samples. You can post the sample as is, you can um, show us an object that you created with the sample or the yarn that you spin with it. Whatever you choose to do is fine. We want to see what you're doing. We want to see what you love out of this box. So that's two ways to win a $50 gift certificate to the contributor of your choice in this box. I can't wait to show you all this great stuff, so why don't we get started? We're going to start out with Vamp colorway from Lutheran Fiber Arts. So this is so beautiful with all the different reds, purples. It's almost it's a blue violet, which I love. I love blue reds and blue violets, and this has both. The purple and the red are Corydale. And then there's a beautiful amount of white silk throughout. So when you spin this, you'll get some dark red spots, you'll get some dark purple spots, and then you'll get some white. And here's an example that she sent in of it spun up, which I thought was really fun. And then she also sent us an example of it woven. So you'll see, you can see how the, the red flows through here, the dark purple flows through, and then you have the little dots of white silk peeking through. Blues and purples and reds and all the stuff in between. Yarn, roll egg, little square thing. All woven up. Oh, woven up, woven up, woven up, woven up. Winemaker Sister sent us these fun little stitch markers that have little skulls and roses on them. And the, the ring itself is actually a fairly small one. So these would be really fun hanging off of your shawl or sock knitting. Because these look like they would fit maybe up to a five. They, they look heavy, but they're actually fairly lightweight because this is an acrylic bead here. Super shiny and pretty though. It's goth. Good goth, you made skull roses. These skulls are not pushing up daisies. Roses. Fiber Quirks sent us these beautiful Rolags that are based on her Tarot series Bats and Poonies. So these um, are BFL and Merino, and she titled this one Death. So this has black, a soft blue, a, a brighter blue. I think this would spin up into a really fun and super soft. For death, it's really soft. Death! From Fiber Quirks. Fiber Quirks has created death. BFL and Merino. BFL death and Merino. I have to put it back in the bag, but I'm kind of scared. Gothic Sorceress. It's from Kitty Minecrafts. From Kitty Minecrafts. Barbara at Kitty Minecraft sent us these beautiful yarns that she titled Gothic Sorceress. And these are, um, let's see, 100% superwash merino in a worsted weight, a nice thick yarn. And then 80% superwash and 20% nylon in a fingering weight. And we actually have a full-size skein of this to give away later in the month. Dawn at Bristle Ridge Alpacas sent us these fun little bats. Um, and this month, the samples are all different samples, but I chose to highlight this one because it has this blood red that I think of when I think of goth. 
and um, it this is all Surrey with Angelina so it's super soft and it'll be really fun to feel these fibers slip through your fingers as you're spinning it. Bristol Ridge alpacas Surrey and Angelina and it's the beautiful red it's like when you like blood it's really red when it comes out, but if you leave it there and it dries, it turns rusty and brown. That's why that movie blood always looks all red, and you know it's not really blood. And if they had any artistic integrity, somebody would have cut themselves to make it look real. But this is good red. Knickknacks sent us these beautiful bats, and this she titled Blood Rose. So this, she said she used blood red chevoy wool, Shades of Grey Corydale and a little Black Merino as well as some Black Diamond Bamboo and Silver Angelina. And she was inspired by a photograph of a of the, this rose. So pretty. And the dark reds in there are just luscious. Blood Rose! The mini carded bat was inspired by a striking photograph. There are bugs! First I thought she said she used blood and Chevys, but that was that wouldn't work good. Julie at Narwhal Knits sent us these gorgeous little skeins and she titled these Pose Raven. So it, they've got whites, dark silvery grays, and just a smattering of this gorgeous blood red coming through. These skeins are, these are on Watercolor Sublime. Her um, base is 80% superwash merino and 20% silk. Quoth the raven, nevermore. You guys should totally get the Alan Parsons Project Edgar Allan Poe Tales of Mystery and Adventure album. There's a great Edgar Allan Poe song on there. Well, it's all Edgar Allan Poe stuff. And he does the raven. Hipstrings sent us these beautiful carded rovings. And these are blended Shetland Manx, Longton, Tussa Silk, and Flax. So it's got the fun, different textures in there with silk and flax. I think that's really a kind of a fun combination. And um, your yarn, if, if you feel like flax is a little bit too coarse, it'll soften up over time. Every washing makes flax or linen um, much softer. She titled this one Sin. And I love the rich reds in there with the soft natural browns. I think that it's a, a really good combination of colors, and I'd love to see it spun up. A roving called Sin. It smells pretty sinful. Who'd you have to kill to make this one? Designs by Tammy sent us some fun little Edgar Allan Poe stitch markers. These ones, and this could also be used um, as on a necklace, which I think is kind of fun. These are this is the larger one. She also sent regular stitch markers, small sizes, and um, yeah, I love the image on there. There's a big giant raven outside my window right now. He's climbing up the dome. She can do any image that you like on your stitch markers, and I think that's a really cool idea. Billy the Kid? No, it's Poe. Poe. <laughs> I don't think they look anything alike. Edgar Allan Poe. Stitch marker. I saw Poe's grave in Balmer. Oh, cool. That's where he's buried. He had a house there, too. But it's this broken down thing that nobody's ever paid any attention to, which is kind of sad. And weird. But it's got a great gravestone in the graveyard of the church. Laughing Lamb Fibers sent us these beautiful tops that are a mixed Corydale. So you get um, natural browns and natural cream colors all together. I think this would spin up really fun. It would dye really fun. Um, if you wanted to um, do a large project, this would be a really fun one to buy and either spin and then dye or dye it before you spin. I think it would do well either way, but it's a really beautiful combination of colors. It's super soft. And um, Corydale has a reputation for being a beginner's spinning fiber. And part of the reason is because it, it drafts out so beautifully and the staple length is so nice. Even advanced spinners enjoy spinning fibers that are easy to spin. Laughing lamb fibers. Fibers. 
fiber. A star is shorn sent us these gorgeous red bats. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in there, but there is beautiful Angelina sparkle. These are, let's see, these are Polworth and Silk, 8515. And she titled these Sanguinarium. I think these bats would spin up so perfectly. Look at that. Oh, yummy fiber. I love it. It's super hard to resist, which is why I don't. Come into the laboratory. You'll have to go through the sanguinarium. I know that's not it. Jessica at Broadway Creations sent us Rolex this month, and they're such beautiful colors. She did Corydale, Bamboo, Soft Silk, and Angelina. So it has all that yumminess, and she based it off of this beautiful gothic image. This young lady with the black cat in her arms and long, beautiful dress. You can see where she was inspired to use the colors that she did from that image. So it's super soft. The carbonized bamboo gives you a soft sheen. The silk gives you sheen. And it's all just luscious softness in there. A kitty cat, a gothy kitty cat chick. This month for Wonderland Fiber, I decided to do yarn and fiber, but I wanted to show you the yarn in the video. And I called this one Negan and Lucille. And I did this off of an image of Negan holding his bat, Lucille. I'm a big Walking Dead fan, and this this premiere this week was really upsetting, and, and I thought it was awesome at the same time. And this is a super wash um, fingering weight yarn. Negan and Lucille. Hmm. But it's not spiky. You did not wrap it in barbed wire. Thank you. Willow Fairy Wool sent us um, these rovings this time that she titled Castle Walls. And if you take a close look at any castles, you'll see that they all have this little bit of moss and lichen growing on them and then there's this beautiful gray of the stone and I spun up a sample of this I'll include a picture on the video but um, I was really happy with how it the sample came up really beautifully gray with just little touches of green and deep yellow in it absolutely love it and I think the sample is fabulous it's soft this is 60% gray merino and 40% tussa silk. Our contributors have really included the silk this month, month, which is kind of fun and fantastic. I love silk. Ah, because castle walls get moist and damp and have mildew and mold and green things growing on them. Shades of Light sent us these gorgeous little skeins. She called these goth and these are on Merino Nylon Cashmere. So there's a super um, luxury cashmere softness in here. Um, it's really quite a beautiful colorway. Let's see if we can get that a little closer. There we go. There's purples and reds and a little bit of teal. Shades of light. Katmandu. She titled it Goth. Katmandu is the type of yarn base oh, she used. Oh, it's Katmandu. What kind of yarn base is a Katmandu? Well, you have to read the rest of it. So if you look up Katmandu on her site, it means it's superwash merino, 10% nylon, and 10% cashmere. Oh, nylon? Strong. Yeah, it's good for socks with nylon. In it. Oh, this will be some crazy socks, man. Shiny Briny sent us these beautiful Rolex this month. These are Corydale. Bamboo, Merino, and Angelina. The bamboo is this beautiful, bright, striking red. And then she's got some super soft Merino in here and the brown Corydale. So these are really fluffy and soft and would be really fun to spin up a batch of them. And I like these pops of color. When you spin this, you're gonna have a nice long brown and then you're gonna have a pop of red and again, more brown, pop of purple. So it'd be really fun to see how this is spun up. The purple, reddy, shiny, briny kind of. 
Rolag. Monica at Gloria Patre sent us these beautiful little glass skull stitch markers. And they're kind of an amber color. I'm going to try and get a little closer there. Really beautiful. And everybody gets a chocolate spider. But these are um, a medium to a large size stitch marker. And I really love this little set. I think it's so fun. You almost had it. I have fingers for chainsawing and hitting things with hammers, not opening little packages. Stacy at Full Circle Artworks sent us another one of her beautiful little palettes. This time she included some things. She titled this palette Vampire, and it has white faux angora and blood red superwash merino rose fiber bamboo tinsel and faux cashmere. This merlot color is chevoy. This purple passion is Polworth yearling mohair and tussa silk. This hypnotic is purple and blues and it's chevoy wool. And then this slate blue is um, evening skies and it's Corydale. Really beautiful. She always makes sure and send a sample that I get to spin up and I've already spun it. So I took these and I created a rollag with stripes. And then I used the faux angora throughout the whole thing to just give it a little softness and brightness. I was really happy to spin it. This it was my favorite part to spin, the blood red. The, um, the blend of fibers in there was just a delight to spin. It just flowed right through my hands. But each of them were fun to spin and easy to spin. And I liked that too. So you can get these palettes in a larger size on her, in her Etsy store. Can you wear these teeth? You want this fire! You want it right! Jaeger and Yarn sent us these beautiful little stitch markers with flowers and different body parts, bones. We've got a skull and a heart and a torso and a pelvic bone and a hand. They're surprisingly pretty. I didn't I don't think I thought that parts of a skeleton would be as beautiful as stitch markers as these are. And these are about a medium needle. These would probably fit, I don't know, maybe up to a nine. Jaeger and Yarn sent a little box. And inside the little box is a little bag. And inside the little bag is another little bag. Whoop! Thank God this stuff is unbreakable. It's stitch markers. Put on my old man glasses and I'll, I'll be able to see them. There's bones in them there, stitch markers. Kenneth from the Homestead Hobbyist sent us these beautiful rovings and these are called Bloodstain. Crime Scene Bloodstain. I think that's really beautiful. That's a ridiculously awesome idea, especially with these colors. This is 18.5 micron merino, Shetland, and mulberry silk. So you can imagine it's super soft, and the colors are really beautiful. Don't want to get too close there. And he also sent us yarn, and I think that's awesome, in this same colorway. Mama Jude sent us these beautiful bats that she called... Gray is the color of my true love's soul. They're dyed merino and tessa silk. Absolutely fluffy, soft. It's very much a blue-gray, and I love these colors together. There's a slight touch of green-gray. You can see the tessa silk through there. Just absolutely beautiful, soft, fluffy, wonderful samples. Rhapsody Fiber Arts sent us these beautiful little skeins. These are called American Steampunk, and this is on her sparkle, sto her sparkle sock base. This is Superwash Merino, Nylon, and Stellina. So it's a fingering weight. It's got um, gold, gold Stellina, but gold colors, gray colors. It's absolutely beautiful. Almost a copper in there. 
Love that. Laura and Steph at Wild Time Art sent us these beautiful bats. These are called Goth Grape, and she also sent another one that's called um, Gothic Pumpkin. But I decided to highlight this one because I fell in love with it the minute she posted it on Instagram. And it has Merino, Superwash Merino, Tussa Silk, Starbright, Cory Cross, Firestar, Angelina, Silk Noils, and Kid Mohair Locks. It has absolutely everything wonderful in it. The colors are so beautiful. I'm just in love with it. Alice at Handmade Hollows sent us these beautiful Rolex that she was inspired by Sally's song on um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I thought it's fun to do Rolex for that because of the swirl that we have we all know as Nightmare Before Christmas. But there's bright, beautiful blue in here. Red, pink, black. Many of the colors that you saw on Sally and her dress. And I just thought it was fun. These are Merino, BFL, Bamboo, and Firestar. This is like seashells. Rolex are like seashells. If you put them up to your ear, you can hear the fiber inspiration. I sense the Okay, Sally, that's enough. Now you know. Take the roll eggs. If there's two samples from the same person, you can put one to each ear. And you can hear the song of the roll eggers. Two Ikes. Oh, hold on. I oh, my God. Mr. DeMille, could you get the cameraman something to settle him down? We have a new contributor this month from Finland. And this is um, Ike, is the shop's name. And Nini sent us these beautiful yarns. She also sent fibers, but I decided to highlight the yarns in the um, video. This yarn is Bathory, and it's Blue Face Likester Wool and Nylon. Really fun colorway with grays and reds in there. And then this one is Dorian Gray and it's merino and silk. Look at that sheen. Absolutely beautiful. It's so soft. It's been a delight to work with this yarn. This one's Dorian Gray, which is one of my favorite stories. I've seen that on so many different TV shows, Dorian Gray. <coughs> There's where the painting is, right in that little fold. Pelvic thrust. It really drives you insane. Let's do the time warp again! Next month our box is called Seasons of Color and it will actually be our last box for the year. We're not going to do a December box. So um, I hope you'll join us next month as well. I can't wait to show you those samples. We've already got a few in and um, beautiful colors coming your way. Thank you so much for joining us. By the last breath of the four winds that blow I'll have revenge upon Fortunato. Smile in his face, I'll say, come, let us go. I've a cask of Amontillado. Follow me now to the vault down below.